Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. My name is Bruno and I'm a lecturer in economics at Manute University. Today I want to talk to you about a very important issue, greenhouse gases emissions, and how it can be studied through the tools of the economics discipline and how new tools and policies can be developed in order to mitigate this problem. First of all, a bit of context. Typically, economists see emissions as a form of negative externalities, that is to say, actions that have involuntary negative consequences on bystanders. Two typical examples are cigarette smokes and the purchase of plastic bags. If you think about it, both of these actions are taxed in order to reduce the consumption of cigarettes as well as the consumption of plastic bags for public health and for the environment as a whole. So one might think that activities that create a lot of emissions are typically taxed. If we look at the graphs that show CO2 emissions and their sources in Ireland, we can immediately notice that the amount of emissions have grown steadily in the last 10 years, and that a consistent share of them is due to agricultural activities. In particular, agriculture accounts for more than one-fourth of total emissions produced in Ireland, in spite of agriculture only accounting for less than 5% of total employment. It is therefore clear that agriculture produces a disproportionate amount of emissions compared to other activities. So one might believe that agricultural production is heavily taxed in order to reduce its environmental consequences. However, quite the opposite is true. Just in 2021, farmers received nearly 2 billion of subsidies in Ireland. And one might be wondering what is going on there. Well, uh, this is in line with the fact that there is a common perception of agriculture as an important activity in Ireland. Because if it is true that it has some detrimental consequences in terms of environment, it also serves some very important purposes, such as the food security and the sustainment of income of areas of the countries that are on average poorer we can see that farms are concentrated in areas in Ireland that typically have lower level of income. On top of that, we can also see that the typical farmers doesn't receive a particularly high level of income. Therefore, there is a part of the population in the country that relies on agriculture for livelihood. So, what is the solution? Well, Starting from 2023, the EU are going to change agricultural policies in order to keep on supporting the income of farmers, but also to keep an eye on the environment. In particular, only farms that produce with less emission-intensive methods are going to receive these subsidies or will receive a higher amount of subsidies. The idea is that, by doing so, the policies are going to encourage a more green approach to agriculture while, at the same time, sustaining the income of farmers. It is important to point out that, although the farming sector is one of the contributors of emissions and in terms of climate change, economists have also shown that farmers are the ones that are going to suffer the most from climate change, because it will change the extent to which land and climate will be suitable for agriculture. Some recent estimates show that total food production could reduce worldwide by around 15% due to climate change by 2030, and that the countries that are going to suffer the most from it are those located in sub-Saharan Africa, or in climates that are already very warm and that are going to become nearly unviable for agriculture. Is therefore important also for the agricultural sector as a whole to make sure that emissions are reduced rapidly.